Okay guys, so I actually just finished my grocery haul. I grabbed one of my lime bars that I bought. These are the Outshine lime bars. This definitely was an impulse buy. <laughs> There's certain things that like I come with a list and I'm like, okay, I need to get this, this, this for like the next couple of days. And then there's certain things that are an impulse buy, and this was definitely one of them. They just looked really refreshing, really good. I actually haven't ate anything today. It's already almost one o'clock and I still haven't had breakfast or anything, but I am heading home. I wanted to do a Costco haul today too, but I literally went to Costco and I forgot my Costco card. I remember um, on my last flight attendant trip, I went to Costco and I think I left it in my uniform, honestly. So yeah didn't get to go so I came here to Winco normally I shop Costco Winco and um, I'll go to Trader Joe's a lot uh, for certain specific things but I will not do a whole like Trader Joe's only only because I feel like Trader Joe's is meant for like the single person or like a couple which definitely is what we are but it's not really meant for like families um, it doesn't have like everything that we need and cost so I look at different things like what do we need what do we use how much do you get and cost so definitely Costco is always like our number one. And then we come to Winco and then go from there. We go to like Trader Joe's, sometimes Whole Foods, depending if I'm in the area. I don't really live close to Whole Foods. I live farther away. But when I get home, I will show you guys everything I got. So before this melts, I'm going to start enjoying it and then drive home. Okay, guys, so I am back from the store. I did display everything that I purchased here, and I'm going to go over it, I guess, one by one. Kind of quick because some of the stuff does have to go into the fridge and refrigerator. So I'm gonna start with, I guess, Almond Breeze and just regular milk. You guys probably see Jack in the frame. He's smelling all the food. He's like, mom, feed me right now. Anyway, so yeah, I love this stuff. I use it for like my avocado puddings. I use it for my matchas. I use it for my smoothies. It's just the Almond Breeze, but it's the coconut one. That's the one that I buy. Sometimes I do buy the almond milk one and oat milk every now and then, but this is kind of the one that I go if I'm at Winco. I know certain things that I like, so I literally just kind of like go to what I like. And then this is just regular milk. It's the organic one because milk is like GMO or whatever. It has to be organic, so we always buy organic milk. I think grass-fed milk is even better, which they did have grass-fed milk, but it's like another 50 cents, and sometimes I cannot justify paying the extra 50 cents. <laughs> so I did just get the organic milk. I'm sure it's better than just regular GMO milk. I bought some bananas here. Uh, these are just regular bananas. I pretty much buy things regular unless they are on the dirty dozen and then I will buy them organic. And that's why I do like going to Costco because Costco does sell a lot of organic produce. And, you know, it's like grade A quality. I don't even know how they like determine grade A or B or whatever, but I think Costco does get like the best type of quality of produce. So that's usually where I get like berries like strawberries and stuff is from Costco but I'll probably head there later or tomorrow and then I bought some avocados I did hear avocados are going to be going up in price because they stopped imports from Mexico but these are Mexican avocados I got four of them I think they were like 
a dollar each or something like that. Less than a dollar, like 98 cents. Picked up some limes here, fresh limes. And then I picked up some lemons. Let me know in the comments if you guys like lemons or limes. I kind of like both for different reasons. And this is just garlic, fresh garlic. And I'm not actually much of an onion person, but I did pick up a, a this is a purple onion because, oh, I don't know if that's a bad one. looks like it has a bruise on it. Anyways. Two of the recipes that I found on Pinterest actually called for it. So normally I'll put just a little bit to get the flavor, but I don't like jam pack it with a lot of onion because I'm not a huge onion fan. Got that. And then these are sweet potatoes. I like sweet potatoes with anything. It's a definitely like a better alternative for like actual potatoes. So I bought some of those. This is just Italian parsley head. Uh, again, it was in a recipe that I wanted. And then I have two cucumbers because I wanted to make like the salad that I like and I dice up cucumbers in it or you can actually just eat these cut up with the lemon or lime um it's so good if you ever want to do that so I got some cucumbers and then I picked up a zucchini which is a yellow one and just a regular green zucchini because again this is for a recipe that I bought or not bought but I want to make and this is an asparagus head. I love asparagus from Costco, uh, but this is kind of what I have to work with right now. And that's what I got. I did pick up from their uh, fish market there. It's like their fresh fish. Uh, this is just like the wild caught shrimp. I try to buy wild caught, caught, what is it like fish, I guess, or any type of fish or any type of seafood actually. So this was the only wild caught shrimp that they had. And I'll probably make that in a recipe again that I have in mind with some of like the peppers. Like I purchased these little mini peppers and I can use these for two different recipes that I found. So I might make this today because it's not frozen. It's already like thawed out, like previously frozen, already thawed out. So I'll probably make this today. If not, I'll have to make it tomorrow. And then this is just mozzarella cheese. I know cheese should probably be like organic or grass-fed but you know you have to pick and choose sometimes you can't buy everything super healthy so you have to pick and choose here and there and this is just a replenish for us we love pineapple sausage we eat it in the morning a lot it's super delish uh, definitely try it they do sell the big pack at costco though which we love but again we didn't go there so this is what we got and then one of the recipes that i found again on pinterest was these like cut up like little cubes where you can saute them in like butter like a seasoning and i purchased these beef petite sirloin steaks so i'm pretty much going to cut them up and you could either use a ribeye this the sirloin or a new york strip so this was kind of like the best price it was 10.69 so i picked this up and you get a good amount of meat so I'm gonna be making that, I don't know, probably tomorrow, cause that definitely does sound really good. And then I picked up some bacon. I love to have bacon in the house for breakfast or whenever. Sometimes we do like the jalapeno poppers. So it's always good to have some kind of bacon in the house. And then moving along this way, I did pick up a pineapple. This is a crazy story, but I used to, a random story. I used to work at a Homewood Suites a long time ago, which is a hotel. So part of like the, like the core values or something that they preach or try to follow by is they would always say, if you had a pineapple in your home, like you should always have a pineapple present. So Homewood Suites would always have a pineapple present because I don't know if it was like good luck or just a home-like feeling. So I did pick up a pineapple, not necessarily for that reason. This was, that was just a random thing that popped in my head, but it sounded really, really good. So I might cut them up and uh, like use it and dip it in something or put like tahini on it. So I did pick up a pineapple. I always pick these up. These are the Suja immunity shots. If you watch my flight attendant vlogs, I always have one or two with these on my trip. Every time I just feel like a little groggy or tired or feel like, uh, 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 like I'm getting sick. I always like, you know, take one of these. It's an acquired taste. I feel like I don't really taste it much anymore, but if you take one of these for the first time, you're like, oh, that's disgusting. But honestly, turmeric is an acquired taste. This is also from the fish market. And this is like a, a pound of the tropical seafood crab salad. I love this stuff in my like actual salads. So I did pick this up because definitely like a salad just sounds so good to me. I might actually have that right now because that sounds really good. And then I just picked up some like garden salad. This is just a 24 ounce pack. They have the value pack of 40 ounces, but honestly, like that's gonna go to waste here. So I just got this one. And let's move to this final section of my haul. So this is definitely not healthy at all. These are the Sven Hards fruit horns. They come in like cheese, they come in like bear claws, cinnamon, raisin ones, but 
Every now and then I love to have these because I have like a major sweet tooth. So this is something that I love to have. And every now and then it's good to treat yourself. So I got those and I love these Vans gluten-free waffles. I actually got used to the taste of gluten-free. So I did pick some of these up because I love these with like a banana in the morning with my matcha. That is delish. So this is gonna have to go in the freezer soon. And this is the bar that I was eating in the car. It just sounded really good. Again, it was like an impulse buy. When I saw it, I was like, ooh, that sounds very, very refreshing. So I did pick this up. And again, that has to go in the freezer too because it's a ice cream. This is just organic raw cane sugar. I know sugar is definitely like not good for you. And I try to find substitutes like a monk fruit sweetener and I have stevia. But sometimes when you're making a recipe, nothing tastes better than just real sugar. So as long as you eat it in moderation, it's okay. So I did pick this up because the other organic raw sugar that I have is pretty much empty. So I did pick this up. I definitely don't think you need to buy like organic raw sugar. I think it's just like a mental thing that I'm used to buying that. So that's why I picked that up. And I love these Texas toast croutons. Jack literally thinks that this is a treat because he just jumped up. <laughs> you like that? So I like these because they're nice and big and like jumbo size and they taste really, really good. So I bought these for my salad, which I might even have some still left, but I still picked one up. And I'm gonna move on to Thousand Island dressing. This was honestly uh, for Andrew because that's really all he eats is Thousand Island. So we just bought the Winco brand Thousand Island if he wants some salad. This stainless steel cleaner, I actually needed a new one because I clean my like stove and I clean my refrigerator because it's stainless so I pretty much just spray it. I picked this up also at the store because I needed some and Target didn't have any when I last went to Target. They were completely out. Okay I'm gonna end on this side of the table. I pretty much picked up four of these tomato sauce cans. I actually make a lot of recipes that involve these so I just like to have them in the pantry. Again tomatoes are something that should technically be organic but they don't actually sell these organic at the store, so I don't have a choice but to get these. And these are just, again, the Winco brand. And then I picked up this baking powder. I do buy the one that doesn't have aluminum in it. I always heard that, you know, you should eliminate aluminum from your diet. So even though I do use aluminum antiperspirant because it's really the only thing that works on me. I've tried aluminum free and I just can't. I can't deal with it, but any other ways I can cut it out, I will. So I bought this one for like pancakes when we make pancakes in the morning. I did need this chicken bouillon uh, for like Spanish rice. I needed a refill on it, so I did pick that up as well. These are for the dogs. I got them adult turkey, beef, and lamb. This is like the blue buffalo. It's like the holistic healthy. So my dogs definitely do eat really well here. Like this can will last like three days because I give them dry food and I only put a hint of this in there just so they can taste it and they love it. They're definitely spoiled little brats. And these are just different gravy packets that I just keep in my pantry just in case. Uh, this one's a chicken gravy, original country gravy, and then the taco one. I bought the gluten-free one because I started to notice like I used to buy gluten-free a lot and then I kind of like stopped but I've noticed I've been bloating a lot lately especially when I fly so I decided to just go back to some gluten-free staples again and maybe it'll stop the bloat <laughs> and the last two things I have are these are the tortilla land like tortillas tortillas they're ready to cook you kind of just do them on the stove we do like these now they're like a soft taco but they're like burrito size and they're really, really good. They taste, you know, probably as close to a fresh homemade tortilla as you can probably get that's store bought. They last a good while. They're good till May 11th, which is actually my mom's birthday. And um, yeah, we'll put them in the fridge and have them in the morning or with quesadillas or whatever. And the last thing I got was I picked up these beans cans. I actually don't make my own beans. It takes a long time. I think I might know how to make them because I've been told how to do them and it doesn't seem hard, but honestly, I just feel like that takes a while. And these, honestly, my mom would make these all the time and they are really good. So they're the Sun Vita Pinto beans. One of these is like good for one dinner and I think they taste pretty legit. You could either have them like this or you can fry like deep fried beans. And again, I think they're really, really good. I like the easy open top. So those are the ones that I buy. Okay guys, so that actually does conclude this haul. I hope you enjoyed like seeing what I purchased. Again, this is a Winco haul. It's definitely different than when I go to Costco. Uh, Costco, I like to buy like toiletries or whatever I find on sale. 
I love to shop the sales at Costco. I love to shop. Actually, Winco is super affordable. So, you know, I feel like we throw everything in the basket because it's pretty affordable there. And um, yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Please do give it a thumbs up if you did. And tell me if there's something in here that you buy or what do you buy at the grocery store? I'd love to hear because I, I love food and I love going to the stores. But I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.